few of us really believe that harm is preventable. And it's that new narrative that groups like this have to spark and spread so that the whole healthcare community truly believes that every one of them is capable of doing something about it. We have to absolutely change the dynamics. We have to change how people look at healthcare. And it isn't just in hospital settings, it's even beyond. I think the optimism is coming from the recognition from all of us in this room that we're not alone. The key thing is being relentless and focusing on zero harm. And that has to be organizational and system-wide. The person at the center of our care is the one person that deserves the best, safest care every day, every time. We're learning that we need to go a little further and move into culture. And so what's our culture of reliability? And then engaging patients. So as we bring all the community together, we come up with better solutions and become better at it. And if you're really going to change culture in healthcare, You've got to start with the principle of educating the young. This is where people pick up their bootstraps and, and really put pen to paper. It really leads to change. There's a place for everyone here, for providers, for patients, for families, for um, policy makers, for change agents that we need in, in Washington and everywhere throughout healthcare. The number of um, ideas that come out from a wide variety of people from all sorts of different specialties really increases your perspective. The group of people that have gathered here are thought leaders from around the country. It's wonderful to be able to have a meeting where we can share ideas, learn from each other. The energy in the room and the patient voice, which is so important in the patient safety movement, is key to actually making that change, making sure that next generation knows how to help us solve the problem. The thing that I'm gonna take home that I would like to see myself and my colleagues work on is how do we carry this message to countries that don't have our booming economy, to low and middle income countries? How do we make safety a priority in their healthcare systems? Nothing is more important than the fact that we're meeting here today. One of the other things going forward is that we start to work together to prevent the current model where organizations tend to work on their own in silos, lack of learning, lack of transparency of data, and then lack of sharing of learning. So that's the key for us going forward. This is the most exciting organization I've ever encountered because of the energy, because of the people with like minds from so many different areas of the healthcare system. Today it's been so inspiring and I've actually been very honored to be part of this group of people who are so passionate about patient safety. This is really exciting because if we know everybody wants to do the right thing, we need the leadership of hospitals to demand that they do the right thing. Typically you come out of this meeting and the annual summit just generally energized. Going into today was a little different because you realize the goal is zero by 2020. Regardless of the fact that we only have a short time to go, we're motivated, we're committed, and we're gonna do it. People who gather here make me feel quite optimistic. They believe it can happen, that they believe that zero by 2020 is, is achievable and that they aren't going to give up whenever it happens. What makes me optimistic is that there's millions of people like this who are working together to solve this problem and I have no doubt that they will.